So I got a new toy. It went pretty, pretty good, except for the truck driver pulled down my telephone pole. But other than that, it went good. So I know I haven't posted a video on here in a long time. I have been posting regularly on short form content, uh, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. And at the time when I made the switch, I was just super busy and it was easier for me to invest the time to make short videos more often. OMTEC reached out and offered to send me a CO2 laser. This is an 80 watt machine. And even though I hadn't posted on YouTube for over a year, they wanted a YouTube video for some reason. So I've been bought, what can I say? This is a machine that I would have bought anyways. I was looking at buying these for this project I'm gonna show in the video. But the first thing I had to do was build a stand for the water cooler because this machine's so big, it takes up a lot of shop space, large footprint. I needed a way to put the water cooler up above the laser so it was out of the way on a swinging arm. And that's what I'm machining first. This water cooler is like 50 pounds empty, so it needed to be really sturdy. When you add being cantilevered out on an arm like that, I'm not really exactly sure, I didn't do the math, but it's a lot of weight, especially after you fill it full of fluid. This little magnetic brake is such a good tool, especially if you have a small shop. The footprint is really small, but it's super capable. It can bend up to 16 gauge. I really liked having this thing. I set it up so my fixture table was an outfeed table, and that makes it even smaller, so it works really good. Highly recommend. You can see the machine just barely fits right between the wall and the CNC machine, so there is absolutely nowhere I could put that water cooler on the ground. Really happy how it turned out. Seems plenty strong. Now let's laser some stuff. So I really don't know anything about CO2 lasers. I have a fiber laser, but I've never used a CO2 laser. So everything I'll be telling you just take with a grain of salt. Always kind of surprises me, the companies that want to send me stuff. I'm grateful, but like I don't know anything about lasers. <laughs> But there are some cool features. As far as the build quality, I can tell that it's it's nice. It's nicely put together. This is an upgrade from their previous version, and it has autofocus, more power, it's faster. Came with a an exhaust fan that I 3D printed a, a fitting so it'll go straight out the window. Really nice looking machine. Now as far as my first idea for a project, I recently had some skin cancer removed from my arm, presumably from welding. And a lot of you guys in the past have said, you know, why don't you wear a jacket? Why don't you wear this? And I really don't have an excuse. You should wear a leathers when you're welding. I get a heat rash when I wear leather because it traps in all my sweat. And I don't know, I'm really susceptible to it. So I'm pretty bad at that. So my idea is to make some leather sleeves that go on a breathable jacket that I can wear in the summertime. And hopefully I'll like it a little bit better, be a little bit cooler.
Since I made these, I welded in them many times. They work good. I like the buckskin. It's thinner, but it's lighter and not so hot. I use the snaps on the jacket. It's not ideal situation because you have to put the snaps on the jacket and the leather. But I thought it was the best option because Velcro melts, zippers wear out, and then zippers are hard to use with one hand too. Since I've had this laser now for a couple months, I've used it on a bunch of different materials. I was really impressed with how it cut leather. I don't really know what I was expecting, but it just cuts like scissors. I used it on foam for inserts in the toolbox. The other day I needed to cut some scotch Bright circles so I could use them on my DA sander. Just works really good, super impressed. Hopefully it doesn't take a year for my next video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.